save 50, 60, 70 billion from these organizations, I would do a lot more and I would not be pushing more people in their, in their tax direction. And that is why we changed the law to facilitate privatization, to facilitate strategic investment, to facilitate merger of some companies, and to facilitate closure of some. Let me give you an example, because many people have been asking, so why, why does the government want to sell you know, this company and this company and this company and this company? You know, taxpayers' money is being used right, to support many of these companies. Let me give you an example. I know very, many people are very sentimental about KICC. We said we want to privatize KICC. Let me explain to the people of Kenya. KICC is an iconic building. Mm -hmm. It is the center of the city. Mm. All of us, including myself, when I came first to Nairobi, I came to that photograph place where we are holding KICC at the top. <laughs> and that will continue. People will continue taking photographs at KICC. But that's not why KICC was not built. That's why KICC, that was not why KICC was built. It was not uh, built for photographs. It was built as a, as a national asset. Mm -hmm. Let me tell the people of Kenya, KICC today is valued at 30 billion, right? How much money do we get from KICC? Last year we got 29 million. The other year we got, I think, 40 million. How much? 40 million. What, what a waste, you know? Because it is being managed inefficiently. I had to put 1.8 billion shillings to make it usable for uh, Africa Climate Summit. Just imagine. So what I'm, what I'm saying is, instead of having KICC as an office block, you know, the whole of that KICC there has offices of this person and that person, they are paying nothing. Right. Yeah? Why don't we transform KICC for it to become the international conference center? that it was built okay. to be. Right. Right? So, so, so when you just wait, just wait, the International Conference Center. And you know, you know how much money we should be making from KICC if it is worth 30 billion? Mm -hmm. Even nominally, we should be getting 3 billion shillings a year. How much are we getting? We are not getting 3 billion. We are getting 29 million. But, but, but Mr. Yes, President. This is a, a, an asset of Kenya. Mr. President, um, this is a property so of the that question about Kenya. privatization of KICC, mm -hmm. for instance, of course, there's work that has to be done, public participation, people give their views, and Correct. eventually the decision is made. Mm -hmm. So is the intention to sell it all, or is it a right. portion but of the it? The intention is to commercialize. The intention is to uh, have a mechanism, a strategic investor, so that we need to make it a true conference facility. And if we make it a truly conference facility, it will give us more than 3 billion shillings a year. Today, we are getting 29 million. If you ask any ordinary Kenyan, would we rather continue getting 29 million, would we, or would we uh, do a strategic investment that would give us three or four but, or but five? Kwa hivyo kumanisha mwishimwa rais, uh, changamoto na yoi kumba KCC. Uh, imepita ufahamu wa kuweza kwa serikali kuweza kuihakikisha kwamba inapata uh, kile inachofaa kupata mpaka mnakwenda katika mkondo wa ku privatize good question uh, my dear sister kicc was not built yesterday it's been there all these years it has not happened in all the governments that came before me right and this is why i am proposing what i am proposing so that we have a different okay. exactly answering your question Wale hawa kufanya, mimi nataka kufanya. I want to change KICC so that it makes money. Give me a chance Mr. to change President, KICC Mr. so that it makes money. I, I let, me, let me conclude yes. by saying, yes. because our international conference center at KICC is not working, mm. it has no capacity to host. And if you go there, if I didn't invest 1.8 billion, nobody wants to have a, a meeting in KICC because it is dark. It has no facility, it has no what, it is no toilets, nothing. So, what has happened as a result of underperformance of KICC? Do you know that Intercon Hotel is closed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know that Hilton Hotel is closed? Do you know that Crown Plaza is closed? Do you know that all these other hotels are struggling? 
because we have no international conference facility. Conference facilities are the ones that support our tourism sector, our uh, convention sector, our hotel industry. We not only want to invest or get a strategic investor for KICC, I am also going to get a strategic investor for Bombers of Kenya. We need to build another conference facility in, Kenya, in Bombers of Kenya, and we need to build an, maybe two, three hotels in Bombers of Kenya. It is what is going to change the fortunes of our country, especially the space around tourism. Right. So let me persuade the people of Kenya, right? KICC is not being sold to anybody. KICC is not being taken anywhere. KICC will remain there. Those who want to take photographs, you can continue taking photographs. But for heaven's sake, allow me okay. to get a strategic investor, and I am not going to do it at night. In fact, many people have been, have been saying maybe we change the law to make it easy for government property to be disposed. That's not true. The reason why the former law was changed is because since 2005, when, or is it 2009, when it was implemented, we have not privatized a single thing mm -hmm. because it was convoluted and it never went anywhere. Let me give you... Mr. President. Benefits. Allow me, because, you know, this is a very important thing to me. Yes, so, sir. <laughs> this is... Uh, so, when we said we, we, want, to, we want to commercialize uh, KICC, there are companies, Grace, there are companies like Postbank, Every morning when we open Postbank, we lose three million. In the last five years, we have lost one billion shillings every, every year. How much? One billion shillings every year. Because, of, because nobody wants to make a decision about Postbank. I want to make a decision about Postbank. I want to get the employees who are working in Postbank. I want to second them to other institutions. We close down Postbank. We stop losing a billion shillings. Uh, we stop losing a billion shillings every every year, and we do something with the fund that is there instead of taking money from the fund and 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 spending it. And and you know we are just being not prudent at all. Let me give you another example. Because you know this is what I want to do. This is what we are talking about. When we talk about privatization, we are not talking about just sale. We are talking about four, five aspects. There are places that will be leased. There are others that you will get strategic investors. There are others that you will get, uh, that you will take to the stock exchange. Let me give you another example. Kenya Pipeline Company. Kenya Pipeline Company is a company that is worth 300 billion Kenya shillings. How much? 300 billion. 300 billion. How much money are the people of Kenya getting from Kenya Pipeline? I think it is only once or twice that we have gotten one billion a year. Otherwise, we get 200 million, we get 300 million. This company, Kenya Pipeline, should be giving the people of Kenya 30 billion shillings every, every, uh, every, every year. So, so, so is it mismanagement or? No, it is just strategic thinking that is not there. And that is what I want to do. Okay. It is just strategic thinking. What so is KCC? What, 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 I'll come back to, I'll come back there. What, what we need to do is, you know, w w there are people with still that mentality, Mali Aserkali, see Mali Amutu. No. Mali Aserkali is our collective property, and it has to be managed well. And I have a responsibility to the people of Kenya that it is managed well, and I intend to manage it well. What have I done? I have changed policy. I brought the policy, because it is in my manifesto, I brought policy to cabinet, we said we need to change uh, what we call uh, government-owned enterprise policy. Ownership, actually, ownership policy. As an owner, every shareholder demands money for their shares. We are the shareholders. We, we, we demand money from the companies that are owned by government. So what do we need to do? for example, in Kenya Pipeline. Right. Kenya Pipeline, there is nothing strategic about Kenya Pipeline. This is just a, a, a transporter of fuel. That's all, it's a matatu for fuel. So what we need to do, first I have told them, this year, they must give us a dividend of five billion, this year. And they're going to give it. Because I have told them, you have to stop all these shenanigans. This is public asset. 
we cannot be taxing Kenyans when there is an asset here that should be giving us so money. How do you arrive at that target of 5 billion? It is the initial money, but they should be, it should actually be 30 billion every year because any economist will tell you if your asset is uh, this much, 10%, even, even, if it is, even if you are to, because if we were to sell Kenya Pipeline at 300 billion, we would get 300 billion, put it in a fixed deposit, we earn 30 billion every year. And yet we have the money sitting inside there. Okay. So Mr. let, let me conclude. Let me conclude by saying this. Uh, let, let, me, let, me, let me conclude by saying this. And I'm sorry, you know, I, I have to explain to the people of Kenya mm -hmm. some of the things that are being, you know, misconstrued to, to mean that we, we, are not, we are not being prudent. I, I brought policy and I said, we are going to make sure that every government asset gives money to the shareholder, the government of Kenya, so that mm -hmm. we look for additional revenue because we cannot borrow. We have pushed Kenya enough on taxes. The only other way to raise money is to sweat our assets. Yeah, is to sweat our assets. We must get our assets to pay us uh, dividends. That's why, for example, Kenya, Kenya Power, we have removed four directors that I appointed into the board to allow the private sector to appoint directors because we want it to be run with the private sector support because we value what the private sector has to say. Let me conclude by saying the following. Why is this in the right direction? For, let me ask what uh, this good man has said. Um, KCC, for example, we want to have a conversation with farmers. We want farmers to own uh, KCC. We want to give them, we want to see with them already dairy board why in India. The Indian equivalent of KCC is paying farmers higher than our KCC for the same product and is charging the consumer lower than we are charging because they have built in uh, much more professionalism much more. So we want to do that. And for Mwea, I know there is a problem, Mwea rice mill. Nice, yeah. We started Mwea rice mill way back in yeah. the 70s when there was no rice mill. Today, we have 100 rice mills in Mwea. Mr. We, President, we don't we, have to we, we, not we, exhaust. we want to give it. Yes. We, in fact, the reason why we are discussing uh, Mwea rice mill is because we want to give it to farmers. Okay. And there is no other way of giving it unless you look, take look, it through a process. Mr. President, we cannot exhaust the list of thinking. 11 farms that are to be privatized. But I want us to spend some time and talk about the diplomatic status of the country of Kenya in the and regional famous. and global space. Do you want to take us through that? Yeah. Pengine mweshimiwa rais unaiza kutueleza uhusiano wa Kenya na nchi zetu jirani. Tukizunguzia pengine kama Uganda upo vipi. Tunakumbuka kamba kulikuwa na lile swala la ahusiano uh, wako baina ya rais uh, Yoweri Museveni kuhusiana na oil deal sijui kama uhusiano wenu upo vipi kwa sasa is that the only around that space no no, no, the, no, no, no. I the, the question is Tanzania. about yeah, yeah right okay now, yeah i think you need to answer ask exactly. all of, those of late we've not seen uh, there's uh, uh, mama samia kiasi pia amekuwa kirusha rusha maneno kuhusiana mm. na namna taifa letu linavyoendeshwa na kadhalika jambo ambalo tunatuuliza juzi umesema unakuja na visa free Kenya watu watakuwa naingia je katika muungano wetu pia wa Afrika Mashariki protocols zinasemaje kuhusiana na kauli ambayo ilitoa pamoja na uhusiano wa jumuiya There are also concerns on a Jamhuri Day um, the notable absence of Yoweri Museveni um, Samia Suluhu Hassan Paul Kagame Ivariste Ndaishimie as, as part of that Okay, mm -hmm. let me start with yours. Do they normally attend uh, Wajamuhuri Day? No. So, I mean, how do you ask about absence of somebody who normally is not? Were well, they invited? They, 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 we, we didn't invite them. And they, they, off, they came, you know, some of the people came just because we are East Africans. Do I attend the, uh, holiday, the national days of uh, the other countries? I don't. So does that mean that there's a problem? No. So let's leave that one there. Number two, the relationship between Museveni and myself are perfect. The relationship between Kenya and uh, Tanzania is perfect. The relationship between Kenya and Tanzania is perfect. You, on the visa issue today,
forget about my announcement. You don't need a visa to go to Tanzania. Neither do you need a visa to go to any country in East Africa. So the fact that we are actually formalizing what is already in place. So there is no uh, contradiction mm -hmm. between our visa free and that. But let me say one more thing, uh, if you allow me. I've answered that one quickly so that you can allow me to do, say something else. <laughs> let, me, let me say this because, um, you know, let me tell you, the economy is very important to me. And that's why I'm, I, I, I want us to spend time there a bit. The economy is very important to me. I have told you that we need to raise revenue. Why am I targeting uh, raising revenue from our assets? Look for the example, uh, Safaricom. Safaricom was a small department in telecom. Yeah? What did we do? We, in, we, we, we took it to privatization. We asked Vodacom to come and uh, Vodafone to come and invest. We gave them 40%. Then we sold another 25% to the public in Kenya. Today, the small Safaricom that was at the corner in uh, Telecom, today is the largest company in Kenya. Today, the value of Safaricom is 360 billion. Today, Safaricom is supporting 1.2 million uh, jobs. Today, Safaricom has given the government of Kenya through taxes in the last 15 years, 1.3 trillion shillings. Today, Safaricom gives the uh, government of Kenya 20 billion average every year as uh, dividends. Now, uh, my good brother, that is the value of privatization. A small company has become something. Let me give you another example, KCB. We privatized KCB. It was an underperforming uh, institution then. Then the value of, uh, Safari, uh, of uh, KCB then was 600 million. That time, in 1988, when it was uh, privatized. What is uh, KCB today? KCB today, its value is about 120 billion at the current, at the current rate, 120 billion. It is in seven countries. It has 12,000 employees. It, is, uh, it has 33 million uh, customers. The value of pri what, privatization, what privatization does. So let us accept as Kenyans that a company like Kenya Pipeline, we can privatize. It will give us money. Mm -hmm. it, will, it will give us revenue. Right. We, 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 we should be able to look at what do we do with the port? What have other countries done? so that we reduce the pressure on taxes mm. because we can raise